Hello guys, MGH here and welcome, finally, to my next gen career mode. I'm able to record HD. Oh, I'm so excited guys. It's been such a long wait to get this piece of kit, but I finally got it and I can begin my next gen career mode. And as you can see, it is Roma. Now, the reason I'm doing Roma is purely because it's a different league from the BPL. It's nice, right, for a change to not do the BPL. It's going to be a challenge. I mean, this team, let's just say it's not exactly a young team. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start um, by naming the career mode here, just to Roma. I like to name them by the team. You saw I had a Real Madrid career mode there. Obviously, you guys have been watching that recently. It's just a bit of a fun career mode. I'm signing loads of crazy players. I'm extremely rich on it. So feel free to check that one out. Um, but this is my first proper career mode on next gen. You can see it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the new color scheme. And uh, again, I really wanted to do a different team from the BPL. The choices were Wolves, which was kind of popular. It was then Liverpool, which was extremely popular over on Twitter. And then there was Roma, who I, I, I kind of want to say came second in votes. But overall, I think it, would, it, it was the best choice to make. It's something different. So I'm going to be doing most of this career mode live. I, I think that's where, you know, I, I kind of got myself out there in the YouTube community. I was like one of the first channels who really did a long career mode, um, you know, series on YouTube. And it was basically 100% live. Everything I did was live. All the decisions I made, you were there with me. Um, and that's what I want to do. But there will be the odd episode maybe where I record commentary over the gameplay. Who knows? So the domestic cup objective from the Roma board is they would like me to reach the final. So, you know, they don't necessarily expect me to win it, but at least get to the final two, which is what they would be like. Transfer market is now open. Um, we've obviously got the um, the global transfer network scouts and stuff like that, which we don't need to go through now. Um, the league objective is to qualify for the Champions Cup. So not to win the league. Again, we're looking for kind of a, a top two, maybe top three finish this season, which I think we can get with this team. Um, so as usual, I always start off my career modes by checking out the transfer budget. We have 32.2, uh, sorry, 35.2 million pounds and 150,000 on the wage budget. I know for a fact that the team I've got is more than capable of doing well this first season without making any transfers. However, I will bring in maybe a couple of new faces. We'll see, maybe just one or two players, nothing too drastic. I think splitting it 75 to 25 is gonna be about the right, right amount that I'll need. Um, next is obviously to play around with the team itself. So let's go through the squad here. Um, one of the first things I will do if I don't know too much about the team themselves, I mean, obviously I know who Roma are, I have watched them a couple of times this season, I've done lots of research before starting this series tonight, um, so I do know a bit about the players, but if I didn't, what I would do is scroll to player information and just look at the ages of the players, it's such an important thing to do on career mode, because, you know, you may have a very high rated player, but if they're like, you know, DeSanctis here, 36 years old, they are, they are not going to be that highly rated for too long so straight away I'm seeing a few alarm bells going here my my best keeper in the squad I presume let's have a look 73 uh, 67 yeah he's our best goalkeeper and he's 36 years old so straight away I'm already thinking shit we're gonna have to get a goalkeeper we've got um, the Brazilian Maicon as right back didn't do very well at Man City obviously didn't get much game time he's 31 Benatia what a surprise of the season well actually not really he had a good season before as well but this season for Roma, he has been rock solid at the back. Um, and I'm, I can't wait to use this guy. His stats are very nice indeed. I like players to have decent stamina, 75 there. Physically, he's a pretty decent player as well. And he has high defensive work rates. And he's six foot two. Overall, a very good defender. We have Leandro Castan, who is Brazilian. I'm surprised I never really heard of him before um, this season when Roma have been doing well. Um, he looks to be a very good player. But I am slightly worried about his stamina. It's only 65. Um, so hopefully we can get that up to, I hope, at least 67, 68 or so in a couple of seasons if we're still here. Left back, we've got Dodo, 21. Okay, could be decent. De Rossi, the captain. Very, very nice player indeed. But again, slightly worrying, 29 years old. You know, he's not on his way out yet. We've probably got two seasons at most with him at, you know, the 84, 83 mark. Um, but definitely someone I will invest in in the next few years, you know, bringing in a, maybe a slightly younger player around the 25-ish and, uh, you know, can look to replace him when he retires. We've got Bradley, the American. Such a shiny head. Lovely. 
Um, again, though, high defensive work rates. Very nice for a midfielder. 25 years old, still loads of time. Their new st signing, Strootman. Steining Suitman. <laughs> um, 23, you know, very good defensive midfielder. Can go forward as well, and he's left-footed, which is always good because it means, you know, you can play him on the left and you've got space on the right. Um, not the best work rates. I was hoping he had a high defensive, but that's okay. We've, we've got Bradley and De Rossi. Um, stamina is fantastic, 87, and he's nice and young, so tall as well, very good. Jovino, the reject from Arsenal, surprisingly actually doing pretty well at Roma, which is a surprise to everyone who supports Arsenal. You know, I did doubt him strongly, I thought he was absolutely awful at Arsenal, but who knows, maybe it wasn't the club for him. Uh, we've got Florenzi on the right, I'm not really a fan of wingers that have high, high work rates, um, but I have actually used him in FIFA before, and I quite like him. He's kind of... Because he's 5 for 8, he feels very agile. You know, he just he dances around players and doesn't get tackled. Um, on the left here, we've got Marquinhos. Oh, sorry, it's Marquinhos, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure how good this guy is. I will definitely have to play some of these players that I, know, I don't know too much about to see how good they actually are. Um, on the bench, we've got Pjanic, who I will be putting into the first team. Absolutely no doubt about it. Uh, we've got Lialic. I don't know. I don't want to pronounce his names wrong. I'm going to be um, learning the names as we go here. But he is someone I wanted to sign in my Arsenal career mode, if you think back. Um, I think I'll be using him, him as a joint striker with Totti, who we'll get onto in a minute. We've got Ricci there, a very youngster, a very young youngster, 19 years old. Uh, could be decent. We've got Birdie, so he's, he's getting kind of old 32 there. Caprari, 19 years old. And Destro, a very promising striker there. I'm definitely looking forward to using this guy. Um, and then we've got, obviously, the, the legend himself, Francesco Totti. Man, I used to watch this player so much. I remember in Pro Evo, I used to use him all the time. Pro Evolution, like, I think it was 04. He was, like, one of the highest rated players. Absolutely fantastic weak foot there. But 36. So, unfortunately, if at most, I'm going to get a season out of him. Uh, Barilio there. Bit old as well. I think he's 31. Yes, he is indeed. Um... Taurus Sidis, I haven't used him before, I don't think I've ever seen him before. Uh, Balzaretti, who I, I have liked in the past, but I didn't realise he was so old, so that could be an issue as well. Uh, Romagnoli, a very promising defender, as well as Yedvaj, I think it is, we're going to see in a minute. So we've got two great youngsters who I should probably look to loan out to get some experience before I start using them in the first team. Um, we've got some other old players here, Tadai, I think that's how you say it. This is Yedvaj. He is, he's been in one of my videos before where I discussed youngsters in career mode who have great potential. He can get into the high 80s, which is very exciting. Uh, Capradosi there, another 17-year-old, very young. Only 47 overall, not the best there. We've got a few other players here that are all very young and relatively unknown. Um, but you can see our, our strengths already. We've got a good midfield. We've got a decent forward um, pairing there. We've, we've got, you know, obviously Isco. Uh, sorry, not Isco. We've got Destro and Lialic there. Um, but defensively, I'm a little bit worried. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put together the team here. Um, I'll show you guys the formation, and then I'll play around with the squads, uh, the, all the, the players in the squad, because I don't want that bit to be too boring. I'm going to be going for a 3-1-4-2. I've just started using this in my Real Madrid career mode, and so far, it's my favourite formation in Next Gen. It seems to work so well, and I think it's going to really, really be a good formation for Roma here. Um, having three centre-backs means I don't need to buy a new right-back, potentially with Mykon getting old. And it means I can fit so many of my good midfielders and strikers onto the pitch. So that's what we're going to roll with now, and I'm going to put the team together right now. Okay, I've put the team together, guys. I'm extremely happy. I've got De Sanctis in goal, who I am going to have to replace soon, I think. 36 years old, he's going to he's going to plummet very quickly. Um, at the moment, I've got Yedvaj in the first team, but I do think I need to build... Slightly more powerful defence over the next few years. Maybe one signing in um, in the first transfer window here. We've got Benatia and Leandro Castan. Very good defenders there. De Rossi as the main central defensive midfielder there. Florenzi out on the right. A very good winger there. Uh, Pjanic, who for me is going to be more of the creative midfielder. And Strootman, who's going to provide backup for De Rossi. We've got Jovino out on the left. Um, yeah, we'll move on quickly. Um, Pjanic, uh, sorry, not Pjanic, Jalic, I think it is. You have to, I'm, I'm going to play him out on the left because he is more of a left winger. And we have Destro playing on the right. On the bench, we've got Romagnoli, another young defender. Not ideal, really. I do need some more experience there. Mykon can come on and play right centre-back if I really wanted to, or even right midfield. We've then got Bradley, we've got Marquinho, we've got Caprari, we've got Totti and Borriello. Now, Borriello is a little bit old as well, so I'm thinking, guys, a defender and a striker and a goalkeeper. I think that's what we're going to go for. Now, like I said, I've done some research. Um, someone on Twitter kindly linked me a cool website called transfermarket.co.uk, but market spelt without the E, so it's 
transfer marked. Um, I'll put it in the description below if you're looking to do a career mode. But basically what this website does is it lists all the transfer rumours that have been flying around the world. And I've, I've looked at Roma's you know, transfer list. Um, I might put an image up. If I can remember to do that before I upload tonight, you'll see the players that have been listed. I'll quickly go through them now very quickly. We've got Nani, Vela, Adili, Adrian, Richards, Van der Weel, Stocker, John Arisa, uh, Latov Levici, uh, Willems, Diego Alves, Rufia, Rafael, Kabai, Jeko, Chikorito, and that is obviously Hernandez from Man United, Demba Barr, Christian Benteke, Diego Costa, um, and the last one is uh, Fabian Schaar, the defender, but there's another one, Svitinic, I don't want to get his name wrong, but Schaar... The, uh, the defender from As FC Basel, I think, could be a very good addition to this squad. So I will try and remember to put the image up. So I'll be using this list to kind of guide me. And um, therefore, it'll be a much more realistic series than I've done in the past. Because I, I really want this to be... I don't want to call it the most realistic career mode I've done, but I want all the signings to be believable. I'm not going to be going ahead and signing, you know, young players from Real Madrid. I'm not going to go ahead and buy Bacali and, you know, all those boring signings. So um, I guess what we need to do first of all is search for these players. So defensively, that is my my priority here. I'm going to go ahead and look for Shah. He has the Swedish A. And um, I think this guy will be probably the ultimate signing of this window because we do need a, mid, uh, a defensive you know, defender at least. And this guy, I believe, has high, high work rates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scout him, add to shortlist and inquire you can see his strengths are heading accuracy stamina which is important to me as you know uh, strength penalties for some reason okay um, jumping and stand tackling this guy has a potential in the mid 80s i believe as well now i'm not going to be cheating and using websites for that but i have heard from you guys on twitter so don't forget to follow me as well if i need any help that's where i tweet out and i'd be grateful if you could follow me and offer me any advice um, now striker I'm thinking maybe a loan for someone. I think what we'll do is we'll add Jekko, but I can't do that stupid Z on his name. So um, I think what we could do is we'll go to position, attacking, striking. Then we go to league BPL. That's it. And we want team Manchester City. And that will bring him up for sure. Um, that's a little shortcut if you can't type the name. It's actually easier to do that. So we've got Jekko there. We'll go ahead and add to shortlist and inquire. Um, the other strikers were Demba Bar, so I guess we could go ahead and add Chelsea to the list here, and that'll bring up Demba Bar. We also had Diego Costa, but I don't think there's any real truth in that. I don't think that would ever happen right now. I'm not disrespecting Roma, but I think he's probably happy with Atletico at the moment. Um, but yeah, definitely Demba Bar we need to look at. I think he could be a very good addition, even if it's on loan. Um, other ones were, you know, more like uh, right midfielders, I want to say, like Nani and Vela. Um, so I don't really need to do anything about that now. I think goalkeeper-wise, Ruffier would be a very good signing. Uh, so maybe we can add him to the list as well. And I think if I can get at least two out of these four, it should be a good start. Now, Ruffier is a very good good goalkeeper from St. Etienne. Um, 27 years old as well. There he is. He's 26 at, at the start here. Okay, I've got that wrong. Um, but yeah, he's a very decent goalkeeper in this game. One of the higher rated ones, um, you know, when you start a career mode. So I think we could always inquire oh for god's sake it won't let me go down there we go um i think i think that should do you know i am thinking of make of making a loan offer for someone like murata so i could i could add him to the list murata has been in the headlines recently potentially going to arsenal on loan in january or actually a purchase i may be wrong um so clearly it's not the most realistic but i guess murata you know he could go on loan to roma why not let's add him to the shortlist and um and obviously inquire about him as well and scout him. So, so far so good. The next key thing I need to be doing is checking out who's going where, who's loaned out, all of that stuff. Um, in terms of retiring, let's um, let's go to the top. So we've got Berdiso and De Sanctis retiring. So I absolutely need to get a goalkeeper in by the end of this season or you know by the end of his contract. We've got lots of players loaned out here. I'm not looking to bring anyone back at this point. Um, now if we go to position, this is my neat trick that I always do. Then you can see how many players you've got in each, you know, section of your team. I've got so many goalkeepers that I just don't need. Um, Lebont is 35. I can get a bit of uh, my wages back from him. 35,000 a week. I'm never going to use him. Um, I think I'll keep Gaffy as my main... Well, actually, I think I'll go ahead and seize and loan him. Um, defensively, I'm going to keep them all, but I think... 
I think I might loan out Ro Magnoli, or do I keep him just in case? It's such a difficult thing to, to decide. I think I'm actually going to loan out Ro Magnoli and keep Yedvaj for the season. So let's go ahead and add him to the season loan list. Uh, left back wise, I think I should probably try and sell ba Balzaretti. I'm not going to be using him. Now, I know some of these players may be absolute legends to these clubs, but this is career mode. And, um, you know, it doesn't make sense to keep hold of a 31-year-old who's 74 overall. Especially if I'm not using um, a formation that uses left backs, you know. Keep hold of Dodo. Um, we've got so many left backs. It's crazy. Right back wise, I think I'm okay. I shouldn't really do anything here. Maybe just loan out, loan out this guy here. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, CDM, I think I'm all good there. I could, I think I'll try and sell this guy to Tadai. Um, I'm happy with that. I think this is this is fine. I think I've got enough now. I think these two here I'll loan out, get them some experience. Hopefully, come back as better players. Um, I haven't got many options up front, you know, especially Borriello. Although he's decent, he's a little bit old, so I'm a little bit worried about that. But I think we're good. So now we just advance and see what happens, really. Okay, we got some emails back straight away here. My Denver Bar inquiry has not been successful, obviously, because he's just joined Chelsea now. But I think if I go for a loan. I might just get him. So let's just see what they say here. His wages are 80,000, so it's more than affordable. And he would be a good striker. There's no doubt about it. He's the ideal player in FIFA 14. Strong, fast, good in the air. Um, they want 8.5 for Rufio. I was hoping it'd be a little bit less than that. But I think I'm going to go in with a 5.8 million offer. I think there's a chance that might just get accepted. I'm not sure. We'll soon find out. Can always bump it up. Murata, in response to your recent inquiry of Murata, would consider a bid of 8.5. Um, I don't really want to buy him, but at least I know his value now. Um, I'm going to go for a full season loan as well. I think two extra strikers never can go go wrong, really, even if Murata's on the reserves for the ma majority of the season. At least he's there, you know. Uh, for Shah, 6 million, is that it? 6 million is a bargain. Uh, I'll go for 4.5. I think that's something they could probably accept. Maybe they'll come back with a 4.7 offer or something like that. Uh, Jeco, they want 16.5. There's no way I'd pay that. I'm actually going to drop that down to 12 and a half. I think that's a, a realistic offer for a 27-year-old who's not in favour at Man City. Um, we'll see how these these emails go. Really. Oh, okay. We've got Morata. That is a great start. Look at that. Right, we've signed Murata. Fantastic. There we go. Um, they've rejected Denver Bar. That's okay. Denver Bar, you can stay at Chelsea and fight for a position. <laughs> um, right, we've had an offer for Borriello. Wow, three and a half million. That's pretty decent, you know. Um, I'm glad I'm doing this live. You can see what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking it's a good offer, but do I need to sell him? Will he come in handy? I'm thinking I've just got Murata. I've got Totti, I've got uh, Destro, and I've got Lielic. So I could actually, yeah, I think I can get away with it. Yeah, okay, I'm feeling that that was probably the best thing to do there. Three and a half million is a very good offer. I don't think I'd get more, there, more than that. Uh, they want, yeah, 4.7, what a guess. They want 4.7 for Shah. Um, so I'll go ahead and offer that. I'm sorry if I'm saying his name wrong. I have learned a bit of Swedish, but I sometimes mix up the A's. And no, obviously that's not Swedish, is it? He's not Swedish. At least I don't think he is. He can't be. Um, okay, let's go. Wow, he wants up to 90,000. That's crazy. They've accepted, which is good. Um, I need a keeper. I'm going to have to do it, guys. Um, I want to find out where Shah is from. I'm pretty sure it's it's Scandinavian, but not Sweden. Let's have a look. Player sold. There you go. 3 million done. Transfer for Jekko accepted. There you go. 12 and a half. Um, I don't think I need him now. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm not going to rush into any decisions. I'm going to leave that email as it is. And um, we'll see what happens with the other signings. Right, here's Shah's final report. Let's take a look. So he's 21. Those are some very, very nice stats. He's from Switzerland. There you go then. Switzerland have a pretty decent team these days, don't they? Um, okay, I'm very happy with that. I think he's going to be a perfect, perfect choice. Um, it looks like we're going to get Ruffier as well. International management, not right now. They've accepted for 4.7. He wants 40,000. It's a bit more than I was expecting, to be honest. I'm going to try and sign him as an important first team player so he doesn't get moody if I don't use him the whole time. Um, 
Yeah, I don't need to look at that. Transfer offer accepted still. I forgot I've already been through that. Let's leave it again and advance a little bit more. Transfer offer for Castan. There's no way I'm selling this guy. Reject and disallow future offers. The one thing I don't want to do is, you know, sell players. I don't want to do that. If they're a core, a core bit of my first 11, there's no way. The exception was that striker, and it was a very good offer. Um, there we go. We got contract offer accepted from Ruffier. We've made another signing, guys, and it's a new goalkeeper. De Sanctis, I'm sure, is very decent, but in FIFA, he's old. It's simple as that. Um, let's go ahead and add him into the team. Let's go, go, go. I'm, I'm sure this is going to make such a difference with my, you know, conceding. There you go. Ruffier in goal. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think it's a good choice. And De Sanctis will go on the reserves. We've got an offer on Labont. Uh, 140,000 is fine by me. It's just getting rid of his wages. Uh, for a 35-year-old goalkeeper when I've just signed one, there's no need. I have decided I don't need Dzeko, so... I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to go ahead and just check the squad here. Just just make sure I haven't done anything wrong and you know made a bad decision. We've got Morata, 76 overall, not too bad at all. He's a spare striker. So in terms of my bench, I'm very happy with it. Um, we still haven't got Shah. I need to make sure we get him in the team. So let's, let's advance again here, make sure we get him. There we go. Oh, that's fantastic. And I've still got 24 million left. Um, which probably equates to about 20 if you adjust the uh, the wage. But there we go. We can put Shah in the squad now. I think Yedvaj can drop to the bench um, instead of Romagnoli. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do this. Let's get Shah. Um, should I play him as a right back? He is right footed. Because Bernatia for me, has to be in the middle. He's the tallest here. He has to be on the left because he's uh, left footed. So yeah, I think Shah... Will fit in very nicely there indeed. But Yedvaj can be on the bench. He can play in midfield and as right back, which is always handy. And then obviously we've got Romagnoli, who now is going to be potentially out on loan anyway. But until then, he's going to be on the bench. But I think I'm happy. It wouldn't hurt to get one more defender. But maybe what I'll do is play a friendly and just see how my current defence will work. So very happy with the start of this. I hope you're enjoying the series, guys. I hope you're looking forward to episode 2 already. I know this one's been quite long, so I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe we could hit 5,000 likes for my first next-gen career mode video. That would be absolutely awesome, and I'm hoping to get one of these up every single day. So I'm hoping I can do that, even with my shitty internet. So uh, yeah, cheers for watching. Leave comments. Tell me what you think of the series so far. Hopefully you've enjoyed the more old-school feel to it, and I'll see you in episode 2 tomorrow.